If you watch this channel, then chances are you already know Miley Cyrus has lived in some gorgeous homes. But before she was even born, her father Billy Ray Cyrus was already in the music industry and he and his soon to be ex-wife Tish Cyrus have also lived in some fabulous estates over the decades. This includes a sprawling crib in Los Angeles and a 500 acre farm in Tennessee. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Billy Ray Cyrus is an American country music singer and songwriter who's honestly probably better known these days for being Papa Bear to pop sensation Miley Cyrus. Of course, that's not to say the man hasn't been a wild success story in his own right. After all, somebody had to learn to walk so that Miley could run. Billy Ray released his very first studio album in 1982 and having spent the year prior opening for Reba McIntyre, Some Gave It All would turn into an instant hit upon its release. Four of the album's singles would wind up reaching the top 40 including his most successful track, Achy Breaky Heart. And while that song would turn Billy Ray into a superstar, he's sadly now having to deal with heartbreak in real life. This past month, Billy Ray Cyrus' wife of 30 years, Tish Cyrus, filed for divorce, telling People Magazine, We have decided to go our separate ways, not with sadness, but with love in our hearts. Now, to be honest, this isn't the first time these two have filed for a split. It's not even the second time, but apparently it seems like this one, well, it might be the one that sticks, because Tish has indicated that there are irreconcilable differences. This includes the fact that she and Billy Ray haven't even lived together in two years. Tish, who has filed for divorce from husband Billy Ray, achy breaky heart, side, they haven't lived together in years. The reason for the divorce? Irreconcilable. I mean, where have these two been living then? Well, my best guess is that they've been spending time in two different homes, located in two different states. Over the years, these two have bought and remodeled a couple of different properties, one of which is a 4,000 square foot home in South California. And the other is a classic farmhouse located in the heart of Tennessee. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And today, we're checking out where Billy Ray and Tish Cyrus call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. After spending most of his family's early life in Nashville, Billy and his family packed up and moved to Los Angeles to help support Miley after she was cast as Hannah Montana. Upon arriving in LA, the family picked up a home near Toluca Lake and lived out of there for the first few years, but always kept their eye open for a property that better suited their style. Well, a few years later, they found it. Originally built in the 1930s, this four bedroom, four bathroom house had a solid architectural frame when the Cyrus family moved in. One that Tish planned on keeping intact while updating pretty much everything else surrounding it. During the first few months there, Tish would work hard to give the Spanish Hacienda style home a total makeover, hoping to add a little rock and roll glam with some Moroccan vibes. Her personal touches can be felt the minute that you walk through the front door, and you'll discover a contemporary gallery with some iconic imagery hanging on the walls. Here you'll also find a few coffee table books that help give the space an elevated feel. There's also a large mirror in the front hallway, which was actually the very first thing that Tish ever bought for the redesign. She decided upon the front hall as the perfect location for the piece because, as she explained to my domain, it pretty much represents how I want the house to feel. Modern California cool. Since Billy Ray's family seldom used the family living room to start off with, during the redesign, Tish wanted to make the space serve more of a purpose. To do this, she set up an office space to use as a temporary design studio. While she normally prefers neutral off-white fabric sofas, she discovered a leather couch with a very 70s feel and fell in love with it, deciding to use it as the anchor point for the living room. Considering the redesign was meant to make this space feel more personal, I'd say mission accomplished, especially with all those items that Tish added to the space. This includes photos, guitars, and books. In fact, she says that after the redesign was completed, she was surprised to discover that this was now her favorite room in the house. While the living room might have turned into Tish's favorite spot, the most fun room for her to redesign was the kitchen. Originally a very dark space, Tish wanted to open everything up with skylights, white paint, and some beautiful gray-blue paint for the kitchen island cabinets. 
Apparently, the hardest decision of all came with the backsplash. Tish had her heart set on a more formal looking design, but it conflicted with the laid back feel of the rest of the room. So, she chose a dark gray grout in a simple but bold pattern. As for the nearby dining room, while well, Tish updated that space with some iconic looking Wagner dining chairs with fur seat details. Now upstairs is the primary bedroom which was already glamorous long before the redesign. Tish would only add to that glam further by discovering a couple amazing Amazing pieces of art that she believed would really speak to Billy Ray. She told My Domain, Billy Ray always had a deep interest in Native American history and culture, so I wanted to surprise him with the pieces. I also wanted to show him that I was thinking about him when I was decorating the space and that I really wanted him to love the room as much as I do. To tie the room together, Tish decided to forego the usual nightstand choice and instead utilize some vintage inspired pieces that she had custom made. A couple of beds side tables. Since their kids are all grown up now, when it came time for this remodel, Billy and Tish's daughter Noah had her bedroom transformed into a guest room. The original look of this space matched Noah's personality at the time, in other words, very punk. So when it came time to remodel it, Tish removed the black felt skull wallpaper and slathered on some dark gray paint. She then bought a mid-century modern bed frame and built the room around that. Of course, no look inside a Cyrus house would be complete without a glimpse into Billy Ray's studio space. Tish considered totally repainting the ceiling up top, but decided that the dark stain helped provide a cool studio feel, one that she further accented with the addition of some camel leather couches to foster a masculine and 70s era vibe. As thorough and spectacular as that reno was, Tish was far from over yet because after finishing the redesign of the Cyrus family home in LA, she moved on to a property the family owned in Nashville, Tennessee. Before moving to Los Angeles in support of Miley, the family lived in a 500 acre farm in Thompson Station, about 30 miles south of Nashville. Despite how much the family loved the home, it still sat empty for practically 10 years while the family worked out of California. At that point, Tish said she was getting an itch to begin remodeling the place, but Billy Ray was adamant she not do so. Tish explained to Architectural Digest, I always told my family to me interior design and how my house feels like their music, but my husband hates change so he never let me redo it, so I said if you don't let me do it, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to live. Well, Billy Ray finally gave into his wife's ultimatum a short time later. But rather than let her update the family farm, they found a nearby property, a small house with a barn. They had no idea if the house was for sale or not, but upon seeing the place, Tish fell in love with it, so they inquired with the nearby neighbors who informed them that indeed the house was for sale. Soon enough, Billy Ray and Tish became the new owners of a 1,200 square foot 1940s home, one that was going to need a lot of work. In other words, it was Tish's dream come true. Apparently, the previous owners of the home had bought the property with the intent of flipping it, but the work that they had done was substandard. During the course of her remodeling, Tish would transform the space into what is now a 3,000 square foot home with five bedrooms and a guest barn. Updated light fixtures would be placed throughout the home to provide a more luxurious and customized feel. And when it came to the kitchen, almost everything needed to be replaced, including the backsplash, island, and hardware. Tish then freshened up the cabinets with a new paint job. As for her favorite spot in this house, well, Tish says it's the screened in porch, which sports a massive tile wall that she completely designed herself. Just a stone's throw away from there is an outdoor sitting area with an accompanying fire pit that can be used year round. But of course, the biggest part of this redesign was the guest barn that her parents repurposed specifically for Miley to stay in whenever she visited. Tish took what was originally a rundown space with dirt floors, installed some plumbing, and then ran some new electrical wire. But just as they were in the midst of doing that, the city cracked down to inform them that if they were going to install those updates in the barn, then they would have to connect it to the main house. So what did they do? They wanted to abide by those zoning laws, so they picked up the entire barn and relocated it closer to the house. As much of a pain it was, it wound up working out as well, and once the breezeway was constructed, Miley's space was topped off with some spunky decor choices to match her unique personality, and then finished off with a tiny kitchenette. For the rest of the home, Tish used online vendors like Cherish, Etsy, and One King's Lane to furnish her interior alongside a mix of vintage and local stores. One such find was a vintage mid-century chair that she picked up with Miley and then installed in their TV room. Well, that's gonna wrap up our Billy Ray and Tish Cyrus house tour. I gotta say, after taking a pretty in-depth look at the interior of their family homes, it's kinda sad to learn the couple is calling it quits. 
Not to mention now they have to split up these two stunning properties where I'm sure hold a ton of memories. What do you guys think? Which of these two homes would you rather stay in given the choice? And which one do you think Billy Ray would prefer to keep? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.